Today in the news, we got a Raptor Lake leak, Intel's GPUs in the flesh, and more. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. But first, today's sponsor, Morning Brew. In the morning, do you aimlessly go through your social media to try and find something interesting, but end up with mostly dry and sometimes boring articles? Well, in the last couple of weeks, I started using Morning Brew. No, it's not a coffee. It's a free daily newsletter I get every morning that only takes five minutes to read and catches me up on business, finance, and tech. It's pretty witty too. Last week, I found out that LinkedIn has ghostwriters that get paid more in an hour than me in two weeks. So. Uh, Help me out here and go subscribe to Morning Brew for free by using morningbrewdaily.com slash boot sequence or by clicking the link in the description down below. It takes less than 15 seconds, so seriously, help me out here. Sign up. In the last couple of weeks, the main subject coming out of the news has been AMD's upcoming lineup of products, including Mendocino, Ryzen 7000, the Zen 4 architecture, and their new AM5 platform. And while I don't mind talking about Team Red, Intel's upcoming products are also right around the corner. And we got some leaks that just popped up. This information comes from User Benchmark, and as usual, little disclaimer here, and that's because of their incredible bias towards Intel CPUs. This website is horrible in terms of written CPU reviews and their weighted score for well, recommendations on Intel versus AMD. But their benchmarking suite is still a useful tool to compare individual scores. So about that leak, an engineering sample of Raptor Lake's top of the line CPU has been tested. You can see here that it's a 24 core CPU with 32 threads. Specifically Specifically, it has 8 performance cores with SMT enabled and 16 efficiency cores. One thing you might notice is how downclocked it is. While the current generation 12900K has an average boost clock of around 5 GHz in this test, what we can see here is that the uh, 13th generation, so the 13900K, has an average of around 4.6 GHz, so much lower. This new 24 core CPU seems to be about as fast as the last generation in two categories. You can see on their single and dual core normal benchmark, well, it beats the 12900K. Not by a lot though. If we look at the quad core and eight core segment, well, it's slightly under actually. Now, remember, we're talking about an engineering sample here that is clocked at about 8% lower on average compared to the previous generation. So this is already pretty good. Then you look at the server section where all 24 cores and 32 threads can get stressed out and boom. Now you can see the real performance of Raptor Lake, or at least the performance of this engineering sample. It scores a whopping 3,924 points compared to the 3,249 on the 12900K, a 20% increase in performance. Now, of course, a large chunk of this is due to the eight extra E cores on the Raptor Lake CPU, but still, a performance increase is a performance increase. And that was achieved at the lower average clock speed of the engineering sample. With AMD CPUs rumored to have over a 15% increase of single threaded performance, and 40 plus percent more performance in multi-core, I'd say that Intel is probably going to offer similar performance gains. That's at least once we factor in all of the optimizations and the final clock speeds. Of course, keep in mind that I'm speculating here, but some more information has been running around the Twitter sphere. One Raichu, who has been right about uh, previous Alder Lake leaks, said that over 2300 points in Geekbench 5 is a possibility. A 12900K stands at about 2000 points. So so here we would see a minimum increase of about 15% in uh, single threaded performance. In any case, it looks like both companies are going to have some pretty killer offerings next gen and I'm super pumped to see it. Moving on, but sticking with Intel, the 3D model is no more. What we had as an animation to show what a uh, Intel GPU would look like is now an actual physical representation at IEM. At the event, you can see the dual fanned GPU in a glass box. The only information we can really gather from this uh, little expo at IEM is the fact that it will be powered using an eight pin and a six pin power connector. So that means around 300 watts if you include the PCIe power. Unfortunately, there's no writing on the GPU, so we don't know what a model it is, but it's likely to be a 700 series model, uh, either the A770 or the A780. 
Then in finally, and also I can't believe it's happening news, Sony did the good guy move and is finally releasing Marvel's Spider-Man onto the PC. Now this game came out in 2018 for the PS4, but since then it's been remastered and there was also the Miles Morales version of the game uh, that came out for PS5. Now I'm not sure if that extra version is coming, but the remastered version is the one that's coming to PC. Personally, I've been wanting to play that game. I unfortunately can't afford multiple consoles. I still only have an extra Xbox One X, actually not even, it's the Xbox One, not the X version, RIP load times. But yeah, I have a super powerful PC, so that's gonna be one hell of a time. Uh, I'm probably gonna stream it, so uh, stay tuned. Oh, and how could I forget, the release date that is on August 12th, 2022, so in a couple of months. And lastly, let's do our free game check. Right now on the Epic Store, you can get Wolfenstein The New Order for free. Now, if you've never tried a Wolfenstein game, well, I would highly recommend you try it out. I've actually played this game and it's really good. It's an oldie, it came out in 2014, but it definitely is a goodie. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories, as usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. And so I flacked out, threads on my jacket blew out the seams. So I wiped out, bruises and blues and felt like a dream. Oh, I struck out, you took me way.